We are moving from a company that helps you find answers to a company that helps you get things done. Google held its annual I.O. developer conference today, and the company had a lot to show off, including updates to the Google Assistant and a new cheaper Pixel phone. CEO Sundar Pichai kicked off the event by showing how the camera will now work with search results. Say you're a student studying human anatomy. Now, when you search for something like muscle flexion, you can view a 3D model built by Visible Body right from the search results. Google Lens is getting some improvements as well, as the company says it's putting an emphasis on connecting the physical and the digital. You can simply point your camera. Lens automatically highlights the popular dishes at this restaurant right on the menu. The company also showed off Google Go, which is a search app that will ship on its low-end devices. Directly from the Google search bar, you can use Lens, open it pointed at the sign to hear the text read out aloud to you. You can also translate it into your own language. Google Duplex, the assistant feature that can make reservations, is getting some upgrades too. You can just ask Google, book a national car rental for my next trip. The assistant opens the national website and automatically starts filling out your information. Speaking of Google Assistant, it will soon be able to navigate Pixel phones like never before. Well, what if we could bring the AI that powers the assistant right onto your phone? Reply, had a great time with my family and it was so beautiful. Show me my photos from Yellowstone. The ones with animals. The assistant will be coming to Waze in the next few weeks. The company also showed off how users will soon be able to have more control over what Google knows about them, with the company making a point to show how it plans on gathering less data from users. Incognito mode has, a pop, has been a popular feature in Chrome since it launched, and we are bringing this to Maps. Your activity, like the places you search and navigate to, won't be linked to your account. Instead of sending data to the cloud, we flip the model. We ship machine learning models directly to your device. Not the data is securely uploaded and aggregated in large batches to improve the global model. One of the biggest features Google showed off was live captions. The blueberries, delicious. Comes more. Live captions will work on phone calls, podcasts, even your own videos. The feature will even be used for people with multiple sclerosis or who have suffered from a stroke. All voice interactive devices be able to understand any person. Live captions will be coming to Android, which will also be getting an update soon. And Q maximizes what's possible on these screens. Now, there's one more addition to Android Q that's small, but you've been asking us about for a while. And that is Dark Theme. And we're launching it in Q. And the central focus of the release is security and privacy, activity data, location history, ad settings. And you decide what's on or off. Smart Reply. With Smart Reply, the OS helpfully suggests what you'll type next. What's really cool is this works now for all messaging apps in Android. And Smart Reply can now even predict the actions that you'll take. So say a friend sends you an address. And normally, you'd copy and paste that into Maps. That's kind of a hassle. With Smart Reply, you just tap, and it will open for you. When I enter focus mode, I can select the apps that I find distracting. For me, that's email, news. So now they're turned off, and I can really get to work. With Q, your device will give you helpful reminders whenever an app accesses location when you're not actively using that app. You can choose to share your location only while the app is in use. And as soon as you close, you'll stop sharing location. Of course, it wouldn't be a Google event without the launch of some new devices. Google Home Hub, which we're renaming Nest Hub, was designed specifically to bring the helpfulness of the assistant to any room in your house. Now, we've also been working on a new display that builds on the things that people love about Hub, but is designed for communal spaces in the home where the family gathers. 
Introducing Nest Hub Max later this summer for just $229. We're lowering the price of the original Nest Hub from $149 to $129. And there's a new phone. Instead of releasing a phone in the $1,000 range, the new Pixel 3a starts at $399, and that includes a headphone jack. Everything looks amazing on the vibrant OLED display, and your music, your podcasts, they sound great in premium stereo sound. Pixel 3a can take amazing photos in low light with night sight. Portrait mode on both the front and rear cameras. Our Super Res Zoom applies computational photography, so you can get closer to your subject while still maintaining a high degree of resolution. Just squeeze the sides of your phone to bring up the Google Assistant. Call screen uses Google speech recognition and natural language processing to help you filter out those unwanted calls. And speaking of Pixel phones, if you have one, be sure to try out its newest feature, AR Maps. Starting today on Pixel phones, when you use walking directions, instead of staring at that blue dot on your phone, you're going to see arrows in the real world to tell you where to turn next. The company closed out the keynote with an update on its AI work including using it to detect lung cancer at very early stages. We describe a deep learning model that can analyze CT scans and predict lung malignancies. We showed this initial scan to other radiologists, and five out of six missed this cancer. But our model was able to detect these early signs one year before the patient was actually diagnosed. And that was Google I.O. What did you think? Are you really excited about any features? Or were you disappointed by some? Was there something that you really wanted to see? Let us know in the comments.